One of the best things you can do to improve your workflow is to learn how to do a comp track. Now, most of the time when you're recording something, you just record one track at a time. And if you have issues with it, you can record the track again. And some people are going to also um, do what's called a punch in, where if they have little mistakes in areas, they go to that specific location and they just record a little snippet, like a little band-aid over that area um, to fix it. But it's not quite as good as doing a vocal comp because you have to stop and start things. It takes a while to do that. You have to set up the exact area you want to fix. And many times the best thing to do is just to record lots of takes one take after another. So after you record multiple takes, then what you can do in Pro Tools and other DAWs is you can take all those different takes that you've made in a list and stitch the best parts together to make your best performance. And it's gonna be more efficient to do it this way so you can get more work done faster. But additionally, it's gonna do a great service to you by kind of keeping that same inspiration that you had when you were working, when you're performing. You know, you can just keep on going through the same phrases and sing them naturally. And then afterwards, you can stitch together the best parts without having to stop and start all the time. So just doing it over and over. By a couple times through, you're going to get some of your better takes and a natural feel for it. And if you got something in the first time too, well, you can just take that and uh, use that first section. But uh, vocal comps and comps of other performances, guitar, piano, whatever you're doing, are a great way to really increase your workflow. So let's see how to do that in Pro Tools. And so what I need to do is go into the preferences. I go into Pro Tools, Preferences. So I go into where it says Operation. And under Record over here, I'm going to make sure it says Automatically Create New Playlists When Loop Recording. Because what we're going to do is just record a loop of something, you know, four bars or whatever, and do it over and over until we get a good take of that. Probably the next thing you're going to want to do is just um, make a click track or put in some type of uh, background audio that you can sing along to. So I'm going to go ahead and put a piano track in there right now, but you can go ahead and use a click track too. That's totally fine. Um, one more thing is that when you're making a click track or when you're making a background track, you're going to want to put in headphones so that when you're singing along with it, you're not getting the sound of speakers coming right into your microphone at the same time. If you do that, it's going to bleed in the sound from the speakers is going to bleed into the microphone and you're going to get a click track sound into the microphone or the background recording, you know, into the microphone at the same time. And if you're really unfortunate, if you're using a, like a condenser microphone or it's too loud, you actually get a really loud feedback sound. So put on some headphones, um, then put on a click track or background track, and then you're going to be ready to start doing your vocal comp. So now we're going to record a vocal track, and as you can see, I've got it selected for the measures that I want to record, I've got it record enabled, and now I just need to go to this um, loop record, and when I'm ready, hit play. So that should do a click track. It's going to go in 6-8, so it's like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Um, I'm going to sing along, but then I'm going to sing after it finishes too, because after it finishes, it should start right at the beginning. So let's let's do that. So this um, piece actually has a little pickup. I mean, it starts right before the measure. So I have to actually give a little bit more um, intro before that happens. So I'm just going to start here. And now when I do that, it's going to have a blank part in the beginning of the recording. That's fine because I need to record this pickup or this beginning before it starts actually recording. So here goes. So I've heard there was a secret chord that David played and it pleased the Lord. But you don't really care for music, do ya? Well, I've heard there was a secret chord that David played and it pleased the Lord. But you don't really care for music, do ya? So now I'm back in Pro Tools and I'm going to look at my comp track. 
Um, I need to get rid of this um, record enable because I don't want to be recording in here or hearing the microphone. So I'll get rid of that. Unmute it so I can actually hear the thing. I've, of course, muted the click track over here so I don't hear that annoying thing too. But I'm going to go over to my um, where it says vocal comp now. And right underneath it says waveform here. That's the standard display for what we see here. We just see the wave, you know. Okay, um, I'm going to get out of that and instead go to this other view called playlists. Now, since I had the in the operations setting in Pro Tools, since I had that set when I'm loop recording to create playlists automatically, it just created one track after another every time I got to the end of that uh, selected loop. So just the first take, second, so on and so forth. And it created in the background in a playlist that we didn't see. So this is super cool. Now we're going to be able to take all those tracks together and pick the best parts out of them and like stitch them together. Well, I've heard there was a secret chord. I like this one actually um, because it's not too overdone. It sounds a little bit more like natural. It starts a bit later and it kind of catches up. So if I just hit this now, this little arrow, check it out. It replaces the beginning section with this one. So now if I play it, it's going to play this main recording, but it's going to use this part. So now let's see what the next part is. I'm going to um, highlight this and hit play. Space bar. David played and it pleased the Lord. 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 But you don't really care for music, do ya? Well, I've heard there was a secret chord that David played. Okay, so now that we have our basic comp, we're going to try to just clean things up a little bit and remove stuff that we don't need, put fades in, that type of thing.